Hello friends, welcome back to the tutorial series of courses. So today I will be talking about network variables and how we can connect the network variables to the IT world. So in order to connect, I am using here a Wago PLC so in which I am I'm will be connecting a 4 to 20 milliampere source and through that I will be passing the data to a network variable and then utilizing on the IT side over Node.js. So let's see how we can start. So in order to start, we need to first add the network variable, which will be the network variable list sender. We need to configure the network type as a UDP and we have to give list identifier, so which it can be identified on the receiver side. In the settings, we need to provide the UDP port number. So this is the basic configuration we need to add and define here the variables. So we can define uh, variables uh, as a global variables and directly here with the data type or even we can encapsulate into a structure and then we can define. So it is up to us how we can need to utilize this variable and define it here. So I am defining it in a basic structure so that uh, it will be easy to understand. So once we have defined, let's go and configure uh, the variable here on the 496 card and then I will be utilizing that variable into the data which I will be passing over the network variables. So let me map these variables. So I have 4 to 20 milliampere signal uh, connected and then a 2 boolean signal which I will I will be using. So let me download the code. So once the code get downloaded, you will start receiving the values. Okay, so if you see this is the setup which I have. So I'm uh, connected a 4 to 20 million pesos and the value which is changing is getting reflected on the PLC. So let's see how we can configure on the Node.js side. So in order to do first we need to download the Codices client library which we can find on the npm repository. And uh, the command which we have to use is npm i codices client. Okay, so it has a very good description. It has provided uh, all the details how we need to configure it on the PLC side, uh, what all the structure it supports, how exactly uh, we need to define all the configuration. So, a uh, good work by the developer uh, who ha has provided this much information. And uh, so, uh, we need to. Uh, I'm utilizing the VS Code, and there uh, we need to put the command. Uh, the npm i code is client and then uh, once we hit enter it will start downloading the package in the local folder and the structure which we need to utilize is so we need to first uh, uh, call the code utilize the code is client and then we have the iac libraries so first we need to define the receiver so the receiver we need to define a local address because i'm connecting to the plc and this is running on my local uh, laptop so we need to provide the adapter IP on which which is configured on the laptop or the system which you are connecting to the PLC. So we don't have to provide the IP of the PLC here. The local address is suggesting for the IP of the machine on which Node.js will be running. Then we need to define the listening port which we defined which we have defined in the um, network variables. So if you go to the properties and network variables, so here we can find the port which we have to utilize. So this is the listening port on which we will be getting the data. Then we need to define the structure uh, in which the variables has been defined. So let's first uh, define the structure. So uh, as it is a uh, structure, so I am using iac.struct and then we can uh, go to the PLC and let's get uh, copy the structure which we have defined in the network variable list okay so let's copy this structure and we will paste it here so uh, for the structure uh, we need to change a little bit so we need to define this as a ic dot real and instead of semicolon it will be the comma so same thing and it will change the data type because everything is coming from the IC library basically. So once we change this, so this is done. 
so we need to put here the curly braces to complete the structure and once we did then this structure is completed and then uh, we need to now configure uh, the handler part the receiver handler where we need to provide the list id uh, the data type and the number and the ic type and the data what what we are getting as callback okay so uh, in order to provide this list id uh, this is what we have configured in the plc in the network variables so if you go to the properties of the network variables there we find the list identifier which is mentioned as 12 so this we need to match on the both side so once it is done uh, then yeah we can define inside the console log uh, the data which we need to put in on the console and then we have the listeners okay so on which port uh, this will keep uh, listening the changes so let's st uh, run uh, this program and uh, let's go to the debug console where we can see the data uh, which we are receiving it from the plc so if you see here uh, all the data changes which is happening on the wago io are getting shown here so if you see this data is changing let me show you uh, the changes which is happening also on the 420 million pesos so the as it is changing it is getting reflected in the node.js side on the console log and also the boolean data which is uh, uh, getting changed based on the logic which uh, i have written uh, to just keep it flickering from true and false so that is how it is changing so yeah in this way uh, we can uh, receive uh, and configure all the network variables into the node.js and we can see the data uh, it is a new purpose uh, based on the need yeah, so this is the visualization on the codices uh, for the flickering of the boolean data which we will save it so yeah that's uh, all the configuration and the coding on the node.js and the wago side so that's all for today so thanks for watching and see you in the next video